Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and uh, we're here with a new uh, art book review, or a uh, set tie sheets in this shape, yeah, in this case, right? So, um, as you can see, we got JoJo, okay? So I'm very, very excited. Um, I'm a huge fan of part five. Um, it actually might be my favorite part so far. Uh, I haven't read Jojo, I mostly watch the anime, you know, you know, I, I'm a sinner, right? So, that being said, uh, part five is a definite high mark for the series, you know. It's like, it's really hitting that, like, Jojo feel, you know what I mean? And just evolving, you know, what it means to be Jojo, right? Um, I love the show, right? You know, my, my cat is named Jojo, okay? Like I said before, I didn't name him Jojo. The family we adopted him from named him Jojo. And uh, there's some, like, just normal middle American family, or not middle America, but like, uh, like a, just a normal American family, right? That has no idea the degeneracy of anime or anything, right? They just happen to name him Jojo, right? Which is a very good coincidence for me, okay? Right, because that makes me very happy. Now, that being said, you know, part five, definite favorite of mine, right? So I'm very happy to be presenting these setai sheets to you guys. Um, like before, I'm going to leave the review portion to the very end. Um, you could just skip to that if you like, right? But uh, we're just going to go and uh, have a look through right now. So uh, I hope you guys are ready for some Jojo. <gasps> Jojo! Uh, for some reason, they just have like, you know, two pages of this, I think. This says episode 20, I don't, I don't know, where it says 26 through 28, I'm not sure. But yeah, here we go. Uh, we have the, uh, the bad guys, the, uh, the hitman squad from the, uh, from Passion, right? Very cool. Yeah, I love Risotto, man. He's, he's like one of my favorites, dude. Just his design alone, right? We have Pesci, right? And the other guys, I'm not really, is this Babyface? I think so, yeah. Ooh. And these are like the non-Hitman squad guys. This one, this this one's kind of like blurry a bit. Yeah, that's okay. Um, like I said before, you could find these at setaidreams.com, right? I don't want to link it on YouTube because I feel like that'll put a spotlight on the site and that kind of might, you know, get canceled. I, I, I want to keep it on the DL if you guys know what I mean, right? So I'm just going to mention it in the videos and you can visit it yourself, right? <clears throat> so, yeah, look at this shit. Oh, it's the boys. It's the two guys. Oh, I, I, dude, I love these two. The the, the, the combo with the, the shark, the shark guy and... The, the guy who controlled your tongue, I can't remember the, the, the names of the songs, but... Oh yeah, we have a Diavolo right here. Look at that. This is the mouth design, right? Just showing how the, how the mouth is animated, right? These are very nice, very detailed. <laughs> cha, cha Right? Very nice. Not confidential, apparently not anymore. We have the nose design showing how it's uh, how the noses are uh, in 3D in space, right? Yeah, because the JoJo nose is uh, very, very important, and to, you gotta draw it right. Yep. We have the eye detail for uh, for Bucho, you know, uh, Bruno Bucciarati, right? Yeah, we got Giorno, just like, he's just posing, you know, you know how it is. Yeah, I think this is um, a reference sheet to, like, the, like, you know, just, um, light and shadow, right? We have the light here, which is the yellow, and then the green, um, which, yeah, yeah the greenish tones are just the uh, shadow tones, right? And then here we have, like, the red for highlights, right? And then, like, for tattoo details and shit. Yeah, it's just showing the different color variation. 
in terms of like how it's how it's formatted, right? So like these would be blacks, right? The greens would be blacks. Uh, the yellow is just the base color, right? Whatever color it is in the thing. And then the reds are the highlights, and then like maybe tattoo details. Oh man, look at that, Giorno. I like that they made him yellow, right? It just adds that like golden wind effect, dude. Oh yeah, very good stuff. We have a Giorno expression sheet right here. Oh, dude. Look at that sweat, dude. Ready to just be... Ooh, licked up. Delicious. Oh, yeah. God damn, dude. This show looks so fucking good, dude. Look at... Look at... Oh! Look at that smolder, dude. I like that there's, like, this black and black drip right here. Nani? God damn, dude, this show is gorgeous. Yeah, we have, um, Golden Wind right here. Look at him, dude. Wow. A gold experience. Yeah, sorry, it, like, I might not remember all the stand names, right, because, uh, I saw, like, I haven't, it's been, like, a couple months since I've seen it, right, but, goddamn, dude. Ooh! I, I love it when they have, like, these base colors, and you can just see the black and white, but then you can also see the little gold details and shit, it just, just makes it really shine, man. Wow, what a, what a great production page, man. I feel like Trigger does a similar thing, you know, I, I like the blue, and then like the, the accent color. Yeah, here we go. This is just like a, like a thing showing like the different parts of the, uh, the outfit, right? I think like, like the, the different sections that move. Yeah. Just some Bucciarati details. I love his shoe de design. Like, I, I just feel like this really works. It's like, ooh, like, like, it goes all around, you know? Fucking Bucciarati, man. Like, for me, it's... I think it's Mista, and then Bruno, and then Giorno, right? But Mista, dude, he's my boy, dude. Bruno, he's my second boy, dude. Because I love Bruno, dude. I like how the JoJo's kind of take a step back for like the other people to shine, right? Because Bruno, dude, what a what a fantastic character, dude. Very very close second for me. God damn, dude, look at him. The leader of Passion, or uh, that that uh, segment of Passion. Damn, dude, look at that big old zipper. It's like, it's like, uh, Vamp from, uh, Metal Gear Solid. He has a, he has like a, like, like the knife thing, except it's like the, the, uh, zipper thing. But I, didn't this book come out before Metal Gear Solid? This, this could be inspiration. Oh my god, dude, everything's a fucking JoJo reference, dude. Jesus. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Oh yeah. We got nice little detail right here. Yeah, dude. Sticky fingers, dude. Really love his design. It's just so... It's, it's so simple. I feel like, compared to the other ones, he's very, like, just a very simple, cool design that's very memorable, you know? Especially with his colors. I just, I love his color scheme. Um, like, the blue and the white is just... I, I love it, dude. And I feel like it fits Bucciarati, like, really, really well. Yep. We have, uh, some... different angles. For uh, for sticky fingers, right? Sticky fingers. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, he has like zipper tears. That's kind of cool. Wow. 
Yeah, right here you can kind of see like a zipper detail, right? Like, as if it's like unzipped, you know what I mean? And then this is almost like a zipper in a way. Very, very cool. Simple design, but also very complex, right? Not too much, not too little. We have Fugo, right? Oh yeah. I don't know, like, about the whole, like, you know, holes everywhere kind of design, right? Like, it's cool, it's like a fashion thing, right? But for me, it's like, eh, it's just like, he just got a bunch of holes in his shirt and shit, you know? Like, yeah, Fugo is like whatever to me, right? Yeah. And I'm sure those who, uh, who watch the show feel a very similar way about Fugo, right? Maybe not all of us, right? Maybe there's some big Fugo fans out there, right? Yeah, he's got his, uh, his strawberry, right? Fragola, I think it's, uh, strawberry, so, in a way, it's very similar. <clears throat> yep, some expression sheets, like, look, look at how expressive this show is. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Nani? Damn. He's looking down on you. Wow. Oh, we have uh, Guido Mista himself, dude. Look at that fucking... Look at that son of a bitch, dude. Look at this beautiful guy, dude. Wow. You can see the um, his uh, pattern design, right? And then, like, you can see his pants got those tiger stripes. Such a cool design, man. I love his like his weird hat thing, right? I just feel like that really makes it uh, makes him more iconic, you know. And he's got his little like arrow thing right here. Very very nice. Very like, dude, Guido Mista, dude, fucking love him, dude. Look at that son of a bitch, dude. This guy's got fucking balls, dude. Oh my god. Love him. Love all his expressions, too. Uh, I think this is maybe, like, like him and, like, full screen. Like, maybe a smaller version of him. Just to see, like, like you know, him in different distances. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Maybe maybe this says something completely different. I don't know. Yeah, we have uh, some the uh, sex pistols, right? We have number five and uh, number six, number seven. Wait, how many rounds does this fucking magnum hold? I thought it was six. Yeah, I got number one right here. Number two, number three. Where's four? Oh yeah, there is no number four, cause fucking, cause he's he's all about bad luck. Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot, dude. He hates the number four. And number seven is lucky. Oh my, dude, come on, dude, come on. Seven's lucky, four isn't. Of course you'd add seven instead, dude. Fuck it. Dude, come on, man. That's fucking, that's genius shit, dude. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, look at that. We have Narancha, right? I love Narancha. He really, he, like, at first, Narancha was like, you know, he was like, okay to me. And then as the show went on, and like, that episode... Where he fought the hitman by himself with the uh, Aerosmith dude, it just fucking like I was like, damn, fucking Narancha dude, big nigga dude. Okay, he ain't gonna let no hitman fucking get him, dude. God damn, dude. Yeah, dude. After the episode, yeah, when he does his bat badass pose and the explosions in the background, I was like, all right, Narancha, I see you, boy. I see you. I see how you going, dude. Look at him, dude.
Yeah, so we got our uh, Narancha expression sheet right here, you know, as it goes. We got, you know, we got the more serious stuff. We have uh, Narancha when he's like, you know, like, oh, I don't give a shit, dude. When he's looking a little bit more determined, right? When things are going a little silly, you know? Yeah. Dude, we got Abakio, dude. I love Abakio, dude. I love his design. Like, purple lipstick wearing motherfucker, dude. Like, I love how, like, after he was a cop, he just started work. Like, this is his casual outfit, you know? And I'm just like, dude, I just feel like stand users, they're just like, they have a natural predilection to wear some fabulous shit, dude, you know? Like, look at this shit. Oh, this is my casual outfit, you know? This is, this is like, oh, I'm not doing so well outfit. I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> You think that he would like upgrade to it? Nope. This is this is literally just what he was wearing, dude. You know, if I'm not wearing, I'm if I'm not copping up, dude. This is what I'm wearing, dude. Look at this shit, dude. He's got a big A on there. Very nice. I like like the shoestring thing right here. Yeah, look at him, dude. Even got this like little lipstick thing, right? You can see that there's a highlight right above his lip to show it's uh, that it's glossy. Very, very nice. We have uh, Trish. Is it Trish or Trisha? Yeah, but they, they just call it Trish either way. Trisha. I like her, her hair swirl, you know, like I feel like swirls and hair is always good to me. Tudish. You know, dude, she re I feel like she really proved herself, you know, especially on that plane, dude. God damn. Oh, I think we have a baby face, right, or, I don't know what, I don't know what his, uh, what his actual name is, I can't remember. That's okay. I think, it, yeah, his stand is Babyface. Oh, this is cool, we get a, like, a little bit more sketch version, right? You can see, like, how the how the drawing was built up, right? Very, I, I, I really like sketch work. Because, um, it, you kind of see the, like, how they got to their finish, right? You can notice like subtle differences, things that they added, you know, with the line, but seeing how it's built up in the first place is really nice. Is this babyface? Yeah, I think so. And like the woman gives birth to this, right? And then like doesn't this like like they have this barb and shit, you know? Just like like oh I'm coming out the pussy fucking like ham dude, you know, like a like a like a cat dick dude. We have um, we have a background, right? With the, uh, I think this is the right outside the farmhouse where uh, baby faces, and then like they're 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 hiding here, right? Behind this wall. Oh, dude, we got risotto, dude. I love risotto's design. <laughs> risotto. Does this literally spell out risotto? around his head, dude. That's funny. That's a cool design. Like, look at that fucking chest pop, dude. Just BOOM! Damn. And he's got the, the black... Um, instead of, like, the eye whites, he has black eyes. It's, it's very creepy, but, like, goddamn, dude. His design's so cool. Honestly, I like, I like him over Diavolo in terms of, like, uh, design, right? Like, I wish we had more time with Risotto. I feel like we only see him in the show for, like, one fight, you know, and that's fi the fight against the boss, right? Which is, like, you know, with King Crimson, it's like, it's like, whatever, you know, you don't really get to see 
as much of his ability. You know, like, and his 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 ability is really fucking cool too. Yeah, we have the sketch version. Yeah, very nice, very cool stuff. Yeah, this is when uh, this is a uh, what's the name? We don't get his name right in the show. Be a bottle. And then his eyes go <laughs> when King Crimson takes over and shit. What a crazy character, dude. King Crimson is so fucking OP, man. Why is his hair all pointy you now? Is that when he's like, like, <laughs> mode, you know? Yeah, his hair goes crazy. Look at that fucking eyeball, dude. <laughs> Yeah, we have the little red for the freckles, yeah. Yeah, dude. What is this? I don't... Is this... Is this part of the design? Like, does he go... I don't remember him going all, like, pointy in the show. Oh, here we go. We have fucking Di Diavolo. Look at him, dude. Yeah. I mean, I like his designs, but I feel like it's a... Uh, I think I like Risotto's more, in terms of like a villain design. Yeah, but this crazy... This this guy looks like one crazy son of a bitch. I don't know how he turns from this guy... To this guy. Like, that's if he like unleashes hair, right? Like where where do these little like weird like straps come from? I guess it's just underneath his uh, his jacket. Yeah, let's see. Are are his pants the same? Let's take a look. Yep, it's literally the same. So I guess underneath that shirt, he's got like he's packing all this shit. Yeah. You know? Oh, we got King Crimson. He's looking a little skinny in this one. I feel like in the show, he's, like, ripped. Yeah. Dude, King Crimson's face is just so funny. Because you have, like, the... Oh, and then the... Uh, you know? Kuriwa. <laughs> Kuriwa. <laughs> Nani? Nani? <laughs> Masaka! Masaka! Is this... I don't know who this is. Yeah, I think this is uh, Trish's mom, I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, because, uh, you know, she prego. She had her, her mouth sewn shut and shit. Because I'm sure... Uh, we call it Diabolo doesn't want his uh, identity release, you know, because he's all about secrecy, right? I think this is her when she was young. Uh, just some background kid. I, I can't remember. I can't remember this kid at all. Yeah, <laughs> you can see how uh, uh, Araki can't really draw children very well. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like if um, you know, if you got rid of the the jawline thing right here, I think maybe the kid could pass. You know, and it because it's so sharp too. You know, because the angles. Yeah. Oh, uh, we have the turtle, the the, the, the turtle that uh, eventually becomes a very important character. Right. Actually, I think this is uh, this is when um, <clears throat> yeah, this is this is a. Uh, Post Paul Nareff, because you can see he's uh, he's talking and shit, you know. And that we have the key. I think this is um, Giorno's frog, right? The one you see pretty often, and you can see like the different uh, like level of colors, right? <clears throat> I just love that they still use pencil, man. I feel like that's a uh, it's very very. Like it just show it, it gives a look that that you just can't rep, you know repl replicate in digital. 
The key again, you know, like the, the layer. That'd be so cool, can you imagine have, like, having a pad to hang out in? Just a little fucking key thing. Uh, this is a needle? I, I do not recall. Oh, okay, this is just a, uh, what do you call it, risotto's, like, you know, stand. When you could just make, uh, what do you call it, you know, your, the, the blood in your iron into objects, right? You know, the scissors, ooh, that was a, that was a juicy scene, right? I think this is Narancha's knife. Yeah, just they're, they're just showing like object detail and, and the way they shade these things. This is a really good looking watch. Yeah. Oh, we have um, what do you call it? The uh, the banana gun, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we have um. Is this? Is this Misa's pistol? Yeah, right? Yeah, it has to be. Well, sorry, my cat's going a little wild right now. Yeah, so we got a... <laughs> Jojo's going a little wild. <laughs> well, Golden Wind! Yeah, so we have a uh, Mrs. Pistol. Very cool design. I love it. Very, very nice. We have uh, Bucciarati's uh, zipper shit, right? I guess this is just like the different zippers that could go on stuff, you yeah. know? Like the, the, the interdimensional zipper, the zipper that like goes around like people's necks and shit, right? Okay, so this is this is just some some like cigarette and like wine bottle details, you know, because they 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 fucking they smoke in Europe, dude. What is this? I think maybe it's a journal of some sort. Maybe just some like background detail, you know. Yeah, we got a motorcycle. Yeah, you can see all the different, like, you know, parts of shading. Very cool. I'm glad that people at David Productions still have a very high level of, uh, technical drawing, as well as, um, you know, drawing the characters and their outfits well. Very nice. Yeah, this is just, just being good at drawing. I think this is the 3D truck that, you know, you first see uh, Mista and that other guy fight on. Yeah, we have a train. Yeah, the little train detail where, uh... Where, uh... What's his name? I can't remember. The guy who... Who's hanging on here and shit. Still doing the, the Grateful Dead shit, you know? Yeah. Computers and shit. I, don't, I think... I don't know whose room this is. Yeah, we have the in, the inside of the uh, turtle base or the key. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, what if you just had a pad inside of a key? This is real nice, you know. This is a nice room. This is not even like a small room. Yeah, we have the passenger train. All right, someone sitting down, someone standing up. Yeah, I feel like the silhouettes are just a nice, easy way to. To, to put someone in it without, you know, wrecking the design, right? Very nice. Uh, I can't remember. Is this the one with, like, the little wall? The little, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, sometimes their fights are just in, like, some... some random spot in Italy. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I, I, I've also been to Italy. I, I lived there for about two months, but, um... Yeah, knowing Italy, it's very, it's very, it's very much like this. Just, like, a road, and then, like, a random thing, and then just a bunch of, like, planes. It's, like, it's a lot of planes in, in, uh, in Italy. 
Just like, yeah, large stretches of just land, right? And then we have, um... Yeah, we just have more train car details, right? This is more modern train, right? Yeah, and as you can see, you know, like in Italy, there's a lot of train travel. Yeah. You know, is this, does, I feel like Italian cars, do they have the wheel on the left? I'm not sure. I can't fucking remember now. I feel like they have the wheel on the right, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, because I feel like that's not a detail Rocky would, you know, mess up. Yeah. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, so, um, you know, I'm sure that there's way more Setai Sheets out there. Um, but, uh, you know, for right now, you know, like, I, this is all I got. This is what's on the SetaiDreams.com, right? Or SetaiDreams.net, rather. Um, yeah, so that's what they got, and so that's what they, what I'll get right now. So if I find, um, if I find a source that might have more, uh, Setai Sheets, or there's like a different version with like a little bit more stuff. I'll try to do an update video for that. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's it so far. So uh, let me let me find an image that I could uh, I could go to and leave it on. Right. Let's let's go. We want a character, right? Yeah. Let's do Bruno. Who's uh, who doesn't love Bruno? So, um, so for my review, I gotta say, like, these are fantastic, you know, the Setai Sheets are, these are some of the best I've seen, you know, they have the, uh, same kind of skill level, um, that, like, not, not the same, but, like, they have a skill level that you can't really, can't really see in most anime, you know, it's not, it's usually not really this, like, complex, right, the way the drawings are, um, you know, Araki's designs are very hard to animate. Uh, because they have so much detail and shit, right? Um, you know, the only thing that I feel like really comes close is maybe like, you know, things like Berserk, right? Where they just have a very high level of fidelity. Um, and the Berserk anime did not go that well, if you guys know, you know, obviously, right? So, seeing how the, the way they animated it, they did a real fucking good job, right? Yeah. Um, the, the show looks good, the artwork looks good, the production work looks fantastic. You know, they do the very simple style, they use pencil and shit, some don't, but like, they have some sketch work, they got a little bit of everything, they got some, some, just very good design. Uh, the jo Jojo, David Production Works just does a really fucking good job with it, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I, I highly recommend it. Um, Maybe there's some uh, on sale somewhere, right? If I find a link, I'll leave it down below. Um, but yeah, so yeah, pretty good. You know, all I can say is fantastic stuff, you know. Um, uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this artwork. Uh, you know, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, we, call it con uh, we call it subscribe, right? Ring that bell, all that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.